Hello everyone, welcome back to YouTube channel MJ Manjadi. I hope you all are doing well. Today's video is going to be particularly helpful for all class 12 students out there gearing up for their board exam. The CBC class 12 economics board exam will held on March 19. Explore the most repeated previous year question for CBC class 12 economics board exam. This question along with simple tips will assist student in smart exam preparation. So grab your notebook and let's get started. So from macroeconomics, one, explain circular flow of income in two sector economy. Two, explain the limitation of GDP as welfare. Three, explain problem of double counting and how it should be avoided. Question four, items included or excluded in the estimation of national income or domestic income. Question five, what is meant by supply, money supply? Discuss in brief the M1 constituent of money supply. Question 6. Explain the following function of central bank. Bankers bank, government bank, superficially bank, bank of issue. Question 7. Explain the process of money creation by commercial bank giving a numerical example. Question 8. Explain the relationship between MPC, MPS and K with maximum and minimum value of each. Question 9. Show the derivation of saving curve from consumption curve. Derivation. Question 10. Explain the working of investment multiplier by giving a numerical example. Question 11. How equilibrium label of income is attended through saving and investment approach. Question 12. Define inflationary gap and deflationary gap. Also explain how to correct this through monetary and fiscal policy. Question 13. What are the objective of government budget? Question 14. How exchange rate is determined in flexible exchange rate? Question 15. Define depreciation of domestic currency and its impact on export and import national income. Question 16. Give three sources of each of demand and supply of foreign exchange rate. Question 17. Define managed floating exchange rate. Question 18. Write any two merit and demerit of fixed and flexible exchange rate. Question 19. Explain three component of capital account and current account in balance of payment. Question 20. Differentiate between the following. A. Real GDP and nominal GDP with formula. B. Final goods and intermediates good with example. C. Voluntary unemployment and involuntary unemployment. D. Autonomous and accommodating transaction in BOP. E. Devaluation and depreciation of domestic currency. F. Revenue expenditure and capital expenditure. G. Revenue deficit and capital receipt. H. Balance of trade and balance of payment. I. Current account and capital account in BOP. Depreciation and capital loss. K. Current account surplus and current account deficit. L. Direct tax and indirect tax with example. Stock and flow. Numerical will be based on national income, ADAS, BOP and government budget. Now let us see question from Indian Economy Development. 1. What are the major reasons for stagnation in agricultural sector? Explain land settlement system. Question 2. What are the indicators of demographic profile in India on the eve of independence? Question 3. Discuss the role of small scale industry in generation of employment and why they need protection for their growth. Question 4. Long term goal of 5 year plan. 5. Discuss the industrial sector reform introduced under the new economic policy. Question 6. When and why reform introduced in India? 7. What are the sources of human capital formation in India? 8. Differentiate between institutional and non-institutional sources. B. Carrying capital and absorptive capital capacity of environment. C. Bilateral and multilateral trade. D. Tariff and non-tariff barrier. 9. Why is agricultural diversification required? State the benefit of diversification and what are the two type of diversification. Question 10. What are the sources of ruler credit? Explain every point. Question 11. 
Rural economic development is essential for Indian economic development. Do you agree with the above statement? Support your answer with valid reason. 12. What are the measures taken by Government of India to improve agricultural marketing? 13. What do you mean by formal and informal sector? Discuss the condition of worker in each of this sector. Question 14. Since independence, the government have playing an important role in generating employment directly or indirectly. Explain. Question 14. Explain the following. Green revolution and its impact. Positive contribution by Britishers. Function of Pollution Control Board. Function of WTO. NABARD. Outsourcing. Self-help group. Horticulture. Organic farming, sustainable development and its aim. Question 16. Answer the following in brief. Functions of environment, casualization and information of workforce, ozone depletion, global warming, land degradation, step to be taken for attaining sustainable development. Question 17. What similar development strategy have India, China and Pakistan followed for their respective development path? 18. Explain the Great Leap Forward campaign and cultural revolution of China. Question 19. Explain any three major components of Human Development Index indicator. Question 20. What are the reasons for the slow grow down of growth and the emergence of poverty in Pakistan economy? Database question from each chapter. Employment and comparative development experience, India, Pak and China. And there you have it for the 40 most repeated previous year question in economics for your class 12 board exam. Remember, consistent revision, practicing sample paper and solving previous year question paper are key to performing well. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Best of luck with this exam. I will see you in next video. Happy studying.